This is my KR Pluku lightsaber hilt. It's not been installed by KR Sabres. Um, it's just the hilt has been machined by them. Uh, it comes with um, Prism 5.1 soundboard. So it has uh, six sound banks. And you can have several boot ups on each sound bank. Yeah, force push and all sorts of stuff on it. It's Tri-Creed Amber Blue White. Um, reason for that is in the films he's got blue lightsaber in the Clone Wars cartoon he has a yellow lightsaber so you can have it set up for both and with the white flash on flash it's a 28mm base speaker it has a flashing LED light it's a custom kill key with a custom recharge port the recharge port is set further in than most charger cables will go in so, you need this, which I will include. It's a bit longer jack. And then you just plug your normal charger in there. Um, if you've got an old style charger, then it'll fit. For some strange reasons, they've done shorter ones nowadays. Um, it also has vice port, so you can connect it up to your computer, uh, download the software, and you can change the flicker and all that sort of stuff. Different colors and things. It's got a micro vice port so this is the micro cable I will include you will still need to buy the vice lead and then you plug that in plug that into the port inside the hilt and then the USB into your computer I will show you the port in a minute I'll show you the port now actually so to access the port, take your blade plug out or your blade, whatever you've got in. Just unscrew that retention, pull it out. Then you need to unscrew the retention bolt that holds the heat sink in. Then unscrew it and then the, uh, it'll move freely inside then. If you don't, you will shear your wires. So you must make sure you undo that bolt. So micro USB port for your rice and just up there is the USB the USB the SD card so just pop that back in Oops. Just it back on push your heat sink so it's in place and then Use right Allen key. Put that back in, and then you just hold it nice and tight. Okay, so it's got a turnstile kill key. So you don't have to actually take it out. Taking it out for now. Put it in. Turn it. Master Okay, so it's got the flashing light. Uh, it's got six different sound banks on here. This one's actually uh, Pluku's sound font from. Uh, Saberfonts.com to so power button and auxiliary. So it's on the yellow blade. White flash and flash. And change sound banks, you hold down the auxiliary. Skywalker, it is time to give our report to the council. Right. The council report. So there wasn't many um, boot ups for Pluku, so I customised a few myself. This is, I've taken them from the Clone Wars cartoon, because he doesn't speak in the films. Okay, the other blade. Nice spin action. And also with the Prism, if you push both the buttons down, you can cycle through the colours. 
to get it right, otherwise. It's... So you can have a white blade. And then we go back through to blue. When you ask for trouble, you should not be surprised when it finds you. See that nice blue, light blue. over now put a blade in for you so you can see what's like the blade in blades not included stands not included and a charge is not included or we'll just include the uh, the leads that I mentioned earlier Nice blue. For your own good, stay out of this affair. I've got a Muslim dude. Group sound on this because apparently he used this lightsaber as well at some stage. So I've been told. So it's a sort of uh, an ambery colour. Supreme Leader. So this is actually um, Force Awakens Supreme Leader Smokes. I quite like this. So I'll put this one on it as well. One. Episode two, Age of Battle. So this is taken from the uh, Clone Wars Battle on Genesis. So it's got all the battle sounds and Uh, a few minor marks on the hilt, but nothing too major. A few machine marks. Uh, notice a few scratches on it as well. Uh, any questions? Feel free to ask. Thank you very much.